Greetings everyone. The Black Hill Billies are back again. It is a beautiful day here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and we're going to show you how to cook outdoors in the rough if you have to. Now, what we did, we dug a hole down in the ground and we put charcoal down in there to burn, you know, to keep burning so that we could cook our food. But now, years ago when we used to go out into the woods to cook, we used the dried leaves and twigs off trees to put down in the hole. Now, that's very important to know. If it's bad weather, make sure that you um, have dried leaves and twigs that you've saved from the sunny days. But this is a great way to cook if you're on the run and you need to cook something. Of course, you probably won't have charcoal, but those twigs and leaves will do it. And we got these nice little tenderloins we put on there. We'll put a little oil in the pan. We'll get them nice and ready for you. And we've got some taters. We dropped one, but we lost one, but hey, that's all right. We got plenty more. So we're going to simmer those for a little while and get some good old country outdoor eating that anybody can do. Excuse me. Back again, as you sorry. That anybody can do if they really want to. You just take an old grill top off anything and dig you a hole about a foot wide, foot long, and put your charcoal in, or you can use the twigs and leaves and put you some lighter fluid and start burning, start cooking, and then October the 19th, 2017, and we're showing you how you can rough it out there if you're by yourself. Now, you may not have the convenience of a frying pan or charcoal, but like I said, you can use the twigs and leaves and branches, dried grass or anything to start your fire. Hopefully, you've got matches because I'm not that good with rubbing twigs together to get a fire. And then you can also just lay your food over the grill. We've done that before in times when we were out there rubbing it. And you can do the same. So we've got these pork tenderloins. Mmm, they smell good. And we've got your big old fresh onion and some taters cooking. So that's a whole meal for you right there. Can you talk about what you put on the, the pork tenderloin? Oh, my pork tenderloin, what I did was um, I marinated them just in water, warm water. And then I dried them off and I put my pepper and my um, salt on both sides. Just cut up my onion and my taters and put the oil in it. And then we're going to put some garlic on there just a little bit later on. Now, we got these pork tenderloins going. My partner here, she's put all these little garlic pieces on it, and it looks good, and it smells good. Taters looking good and smelling good. And when we were young, my brother was 12 and I was 9. We used to go down into the woods and cook like this. And um, I saw a round circle in the ground one time, and it was looked sort of marshy and sandy. And I said, well, there's a bird in there. It's got caught in the middle. I'm going to go in and get it. My brother said, you better not go in there and get that. That's quicksand. I said, what's quicksand? He said, you'll never get out of it if you go in there. But I hated it for the little bird. But just know there's all kinds of things in the woods that you have to be careful about. It could be um, old wells that people have drilled long ago. It could be old toilets and things like that that's brushed over with brush and dirt and, and leaves and things you can fall into. So just be aware of that when you go down into the woods. And uh, we're going to talk about white clover when I see you again. White clovers grow all over your yard and they make the best uh, jelly. And I'll tell you something else about them, too. Those white clovers are filled with things that's good for you. But you'll want to get them out of the woods. You don't want to get them out of your yard because of the pesticides. But it makes the most delicious jelly. And it's good for cleaning out your blood. And also for um, uh, if you're having respiratory problems or whatever. So the Lord put a lot of things out here for us to eat and for us to help ourselves. 
And uh, that's what I've always tried to do, is utilize what he gave us. And he gave it to us free. Hey friends, we're back again. We got these taters and onions and our tenderloins cooked and boy, do they look good. My partner there, she put garlic on top of them after they cooked. And I tell you, you cook so much better when you cook down in the ground cause it holds the heat in for hours and hours and hours. And the food is so good. So just remember when you're cooking out in the woods, cooking into the ground, be safe. You don't want to dig and blow up a, a, a gas line on you while you're trying to cook some taters. You want to be safe and you want to keep the kids safe and make sure when your children are out in the woods that they watch where they're going. And we just want to tell you that thank you for viewing and we're going to have some great outdoor recipes in the future. And please subscribe. We want to grow this channel for you and get you some good recipes out here. We're going to have a lot of survival modes, too, for you. I was born and raised near Brushy Mountain, 25 miles from Blowing Rock. And I can tell you, I've been out there in the woods long enough to know how to do it. Well, anyway, thank you, and please subscribe.